All right, guys, here's an exciting one for you today. I've been wanting to do a video on this, but the price on these newer Lasonics with the rechargeable battery built in were a little too high for me. So I had to wait until they went down to a decent price. And now I got one. And we're going to tear that puppy open. Uh, we're going to do some sound test on it, see how it sounds different from the... Now, this isn't made by Lasonic anymore. This is like someone took the name and they look the same, but they're not. Uh, this is made by a totally new company. Uh, some Chinese company probably bought the name Lasonic, and this is what you ended up with. Now, this is the uh, older version of Lasonic. This one uses the, just regular batteries. And this is uh, the gold version, and I painted the grills gold. And I'm going to get chrome dust caps. I painted them chrome, but eh, not as good. Now, this is the older version. It looks identical, but uh, this takes batteries, and this is by the original team out in California, you know, the, the son of the owner of Lasonic that built up Lasonic name. And if you look at this one and then you look at this one, they really are identical looking. But this one doesn't take batteries. There's no battery. Oh, if I can turn it around. There is no battery back to this one. It's just the uh, 12 volt power supply you hook up in here. Now I'm going to stop this video because I'm going to tear. I'm not going to tear the gold one down, but I am going to tear this one down, and I'll tell you the difference between the two. And then I'll do a sound test. I could do it while you guys are watching, but coming through YouTube, you're not going to notice the difference. I'll do the sound checks. And I'll let you know which one is better or worse. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, <clears throat> be right back. Alright folks. Here's the inside of the new Lasonic uh, i931. Completely different than the older version. Uh, these speakers are different. The uh, tweeters are different. This whole layout here is completely different. Um... This board here is definitely 100% different than what you see on uh, the older version. And uh, in the back, <sighs> this is all different too. Uh, as you can see, they seal up the 8-inch woofers from the rest of the unit, which is interesting. Uh, they don't do that in the other version. Now, the power supply, or the lithium-ion battery pack back here is glued in really tight. So I don't know the milliamps or anything like that. They claim it has four hours of use, but I'll have to test that. But from what I'm seeing so far, uh, it's definitely a different layout, like totally different. Uh, I'm going to go take a little video of the box that this came in, because this came with the box. The older version, I don't have the box. But the box is even different, and I'll give you all the stats on that box that it says or claims it has, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, here's the box for the new Lasonic with a rechargeable battery. Redesigned inside, but same look, better, everything else. Uh, portable rechargeable battery. It says 10 hours of working charge, but on its web, there's a website out there that says it's only four hours. I don't know which is what. Serwin. First of all, they spelled Serwin Vega wrong. Sound support over 300 watt high power sound. I don't think so. I can understand the Bluetooth 5.0 technology. It says that here, but I think on the back it gives a different one. Let's turn it around. Uh, yeah, so this is what it supports. Uh, you can go ahead and pause it if you want to see any other information in there. Uh, yeah, I'd say 15 watts by 2, probably. Maybe. Uh, this is the full back of the unit. If anyone wanted to see it. Uh, I don't have the original box to the original one. But it's nothing like this one. I can tell you that now. And, uh, you know, that one came out quite a while ago. And I just don't have the box for that. But anyway, it just came with two ins foam inserts and a bag that... The unit went on. Here's the, the weird part. The uh, There's a switch on the back on the older version where you go from AC to DC. 
and there's a switch on the new one but the new one doesn't have an AC cord input so I don't know what that switch is for and it didn't come with any paperwork so I'm gonna have to research that and find out what that switch does in the back I don't know what it would do but anyway I'll, I'll let you guys know about that uh, I'm gonna show you one more thing as far as what you get outside of just the boom box one second please okay these two items here is what you get with the new Lasonic. This is a very cheesy remote. Not saying that the original one was not cheesy, but you can see the original one has got a lot more going for it as far as the amount of buttons you get and whatnot. And this, the older one actually came with a manual, which that one, this one does not. I don't have any paperwork at all. Anyway, the newer one does come with padded feet. Like rubberized padded feet on the bottom. But honestly, I think I'm just going to leave those off. It really serves no purpose. But uh, the speakers are definitely different. What I'm going to do, I, I had not planned on opening my other one to show the insides. But you can, you'll can you see the difference. I'll, I'll go ahead and put this one back together. And then open that one up so you guys can see that these two are completely different as far as the internals. Alright. While I'm back here, I, like I, I just so there's no confusion, on the back of the unit there's the 12 volt connector here, and then there's a switch that I was referring to. This on the older version, they would say AC or DC here. This one, I don't know what it does because there's no markings, which is kind of weird. But I wanted to point that out so you guys knew, and it does look weird not having a battery compartment here. I wanted to show you that too. Uh, and also, for those that want to know, this is a power supply. It's 12 volt, 1.25 amp barrel plug, obviously. And I noticed that on the remote, modal. What's modal? Mordor? Are they talking about Mordor from uh, Lord of the Rings or something? Oh, no, Mordor. Yeah. Anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. They, like, what is MIC TV on off? Anyway, this remote is just, yeah, it's pretty sad. I'm not going to lie to you. As compared to the original, which you can actually see what it does. Like, look at all that. All that awesomeness. Anyway, more to come. I'm going to tear down the gold one, and we can see the difference between the two. Right back. All right, before I tear down the old one, I figured I'd show you the outside of the unit without the bag. Uh, I really like the look of this, and I can't wait to get real chrome dust caps. I'm going to get the measurements while I had this torn apart. Um, and on the back, you still have a 12 volt input, but you can see that switch there, AC, DC. And of course it has the battery back, which is nice. There are batteries in there right now, i got to take them out, but you can see the back of the unit. Not the best paint job that, uh, you know... China, China has done, but it does the trick. It looks good. I'm happy with it. And there's information down here that the other one doesn't even have, uh, which is kind of cool. So this gives you an idea of the difference between. You can tell that the newer one was obviously a cash grab or someone got all the information about it because the shell is the same, right down to most of it except the battery back. But it's definitely not the same company that made these. Anyway, I'll be right back with the insides. Alright, all right, folks, here we are. We are inside the gold, well, let's just say, really, it's a black Lasonic. And you can see the awesome job they did on this paint job. So this was not molded out of gold uh, plastic. This was just painted, which, you know, is fine. It's still a good-looking radio. This was not done by me. This was done by when they put these together. And you can see high quality stuff right here. Woohoo. Anyway, we'll take a look at the main board, and you can see right now that these are completely different than the newer version. Uh, a lot more a lot more going on in this one. Uh, obviously the main board is completely different. The chip they use is for the amplifier is different. It's just a whole nother ball game here. And you can see that there's a transformer down here. Uh, obviously the molding is completely different for 
with a with a rechargeable battery would go down in here instead of regular batteries. So they did have to change the mold a little bit in order for this to work. And there's the switching AC to DC power setup. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah! They did a terrible job painting this, but you don't see the inside, so who cares, right? The bat, the uh, speakers are different too. The other ones were black, and I did take them apart and check out the front of it, and they're very generic, very generic speakers. Not saying that these aren't either, but at least these have markings on them with the four ohm, fifteen watt. And yeah, I mean, yeah. But uh, I'll, the next step is going to be checking out which one sounds better. Now, I was planning on doing just a blind test myself to see. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them both up here. And then I'll turn one on, turn on the other. And, you, got, you know, obviously we're going through YouTube. I'll have the same settings on both. And we'll see what happens. I mean, you can make the judge of it. And, and I'll give you my final opinion I mean, honestly, these are not of the best quality. You know, they're they're more of a uh, pretty thing to look at. I mean, granted, this Lasana can crank. It really can without any distortion. I mean, I've had this at my warehouse job, and you could hear it all the way across a, a huge warehouse without any issues. It, could, it, it was impressive for that, but... It's it's a weird setup. You get a five band equalizer plus a preset equalizer plus a base of treble control. You're throwing all that crap into and when you should just have a graphic equalizer. I don't know why they added all the extra crap in there. It just just it could distort the sound if you don't play it with the right equalization and all that. Plus, you know, if you got something on your phone too. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back together and then uh, I'll set these up and you guys can listen to them and see what you think all right guys here we are i have both of the units on oh let me close the window shades a little too right in here okay now this new unit you can see the lcd display versus the one on the original so the lighting in there is bleh. okay, I'm not going to lie. Now, another thing I noticed, and I only played this for a little bit, the loudness button on this one just says flat. The loudness on this one, oh, I'm on mute, so let me turn it up a little bit. When I put the loudness on this one, it actually works. You can turn it on and, you know, all the jazz and stuff like works rock and all that but it actually gives you loudness and it does boost the sound a lot by having that on this one on the other hand it doesn't it goes to flat which is kind of weird another thing I noticed is on this unit when you press this you go through a bunch of functions including treble and bass this one if you use that same button it just circles through the uh, cycles through the clock that's it no bass or treble or anything so you lose the bass and treble on the newer unit but even though i'm not a fan of this cheesy light setup i like the one on the original a lot better uh the sound out of this one is actually a little better i think now i'm gonna crank this obviously i have to go to something that's not gonna get me in trouble copyright wise so i'm gonna see if i can get uh Play another station that maybe has a commercial on it. And I don't think I'm going to get lucky there. One of the few times they don't have commercials. Because, you know, they love their commercials. Well, this is this was the EQ uh, EQ is flat. I just had the loudness on. It takes a lot to get that volume to go up. It starts out low and then it takes a while. And uh, but on this one, if I go back, I go up to the proper channel here. 
can get up there in time. Come on. Come on. Okay. I, I noticed on this one, the station's coming pretty bad. <laughs> like, really bad. This one is clear. But this one is on the same station. I got the antenna up, just like the other one. And this is what you get. Yeah, they, the FM on the new version is a turd when it comes to FM radio. Completely different. This one, nice and clear. All right, so that's the problem. When you go all the way down on this one, it goes to mute. You go down on this one, it just says U00. All right, now I'm going to stop this for now and get everything set up for Bluetooth so we can hear how Bluetooth comes through. So far, as far as, far as sound is concerned, this one gets louder faster. And this one, you have to turn the volume quite up, quite a bit up, and you have to do some uh, adjustments with the EQ and all that in order to get the same sound that comes out of this one with just regular old flat uh, without messing with any of the controls. But why would it have a loudness button there when it's just it's supposed to have a flat button? <laughs> they basically just copied the whole setup. You can see this is exactly the same. Pop, classic, rock, jazz, and loudness. Pop, classic, rock, jazz, and loudness. All the same. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute and we'll try out Bluetooth. All right, guys. I don't not good at editing videos and stuff. I'm going to try my first time doing it on this video. Trying to be a little more professional. I'm an old man trying to get things done. Now, I do have this gold one hooked up to royalty free music and we'll try it out and see what happens. And hopefully I can switch between the two. All right, that's at full volume. Let's see if I can get a little bit better. All right. It's full volume on the tablet. And I have to get up to quite high to, uh, yeah. It's not bad, but. That crackling is from the music. It's not from the boombox. go really loud. Alright, so that's this unit. Now, let me see if I can do this without looking super cheesy. Now, on this one, it comes up as I931BT. Uh, let's see if I can go to the other previously connected vices. And we got I-931. Okay, now we're pairing up to this unit. Now, unlike this one, it gives you no notification that you're hooked up except it says Bluetooth ready. This one gives you, not, you know, a little ding-dong to let you know you're on. Now, I'm going to turn the volume down because this, this unit is way louder than that one, at least from what I've seen so far. But this one also brings in hiss. Uh, when you, at least when I first... Turn the Bluetooth on. There was some hiss in the background, even it, in, unless it was completely down. You can hear a little bit. It's not clean. But this one will give you a little bit of hum. So, you know, I mean, we're talking Chinese-made Bluetooth boomboxes at, you know, deep discounts. But anyway, let me let me play this one so you can hear it. Now, as you can see, at 11, it's way louder than the other one was at, like, 23. And the bass, it sounds better. I'm, I gotta be honest with you. And it gets loud. But it also takes a long time. It takes a lot of volume to get the LED meters to move. On this one, you don't have to try as hard. So, you know, and here's another thing I thought was kind of funny. When you turn these, see how that one says Mike? It says E03, but when you go to 
echo, it says M. <laughs> so these are messed up. It should be the other way around. So they mess with the programming on their whatever they used in here, uh, as opposed to this one. There's a difference. Uh, you know, you got to take the good with the bad on. But and between the two, sound wise, this one's got it. It's cleaner. Uh, there's less interference when it comes to like when you turn this bad boy up, it goes loud and it does not distort. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try and crank a good song. This one sounds good, and it, it's got a lot of bass, and this is with it at flat, so I'm sure it can, if you adjust the uh, EQ, you can get a lot, even more uh, full volume and body out of this unit. This one, on the other hand, it is older, mind you. This is like 10 to 12 years old, and you know, it's, you know, not perfect. Oh, and you can see, look what happened there. This cut out for a second. And I hope that's not something it does all the time because that would be very annoying. Anyway, I wish I had more beatbox. Uh, yeah. And this, this unit here, there's been some crackling you know, unexplained crackling without moving any controls or anything like that, and yeah. If this one cuts out again on Bluetooth, I'm going to be very upset, because that would be very annoying if it cuts out while you're listening to music. But, you know, it could be a fluke, it could be it was changing to a new song, I don't know. But if I pause it, Can you hear that? There's interference. So this is not perfect. But then again, this is not a high-end system. It's it's a <laughs> Chinese-made, bottom-dollar, put-together boombox. And then, you know, to be honest with you, it's a beautiful-looking boombox. Not like the older ones from the 80s. You know, it's trying to do that. But, you know, I like the look. It's great if you're going to make music videos with it or, you know, uh, take pictures or whatnot and have this, you know, in your photos. It's going to look kind of cool. I mean, this one obviously is a little flashier. But anyway, I don't want to ramble on here. Uh, Sound-wise, the white one's got it. The newer one has more full-bodied, and it doesn't cr really require a very high... You know, you can be up to 7 or 8 or 9 or 10. You're going to get some good sound. Nice, full-bodied, very loud. And uh, and it works as far as that. But, you know, there are, there are issues with both of these. They're, they are cheaply made, but they'll do the job they're supposed to do. They're just not going to do them at a, you know, 100% awesome or anything like that. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on. If it was my decision on which one I would pick, I would pick the newer one. I don't know how long the battery is going to last. I haven't tested it out yet. But just by sound alone, uh, this one's got the older version beat. Um, and, you know, that obviously it depends on what you want to do. Now, I, I will admit that I paid the same price for both of these units. Um, and this one you can find on eBay. And I found this one from the same people on eBay. They don't sell this one anymore, even though you can just get a can of Rust-Oleum and make your own if you wanted to. Uh, but, uh, honestly, this newer one, it is a little more streamlined. I like the fact that they did get a, uh, a go away from the bass and treble because honestly, that just adds more crap to the, you know, you already got the uh, presets plus an EQ and then you add that other crap there. It's just a waste of, uh, I don't even know why they do that. It, it was silly to begin with, but if I would, and, you know, and this is on flat, mind you. So, and it's still nice and bassy and punchy. So I would definitely go with this version. Uh, they sell them on eBay. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I Bear with me. I, it's my first time doing any editing on a video. I'm not going to do this full time. This is just something I wanted to do for the people out there that wanted to know the difference between the two. 
I would go for the newer version over the older one. Uh, and the price was a little cheaper on the older version, I think by 30 bucks. But I would still get this one because you don't have to worry about batteries. You don't have to worry about the back of this. There's an AC cord that is, you know, you can't unplug it. It's, it comes with the unit. It's attached to the unit. I don't like that. This one is nice and clean. There's, you know, you don't have to add batteries and you don't have to add a, a other than once you're done recharging, you can take it on the go. And for 30 bucks more, I think it's worth it. And it comes with the box, you know, which is, you know, for you collectors out there, that's a good thing. Um, outside of that, I hope this was uh, entertaining for everybody. And I hope I can put this together in some kind of editing for format and uh, let me know how I did. Like I say, I'm not going to do a lot of these. I'm not a YouTuber or anything like that. I have a full-time job. I got other things I'm doing in life. But I love doing these kind of things because I want to see this on YouTube. So you guys, I wanted to see the difference between the two. And LaSonic and the, or any of them, I bought these with my own money. I did not get these sent to me for free. So I have no bias, bias or whatever on what is good and what is bad. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll answer any of them. And uh, I, I hope you appreciated this. Have a good day, folks. All right, guys, I'm coming back for one more minute. Uh, the, I'm using my phone to play Bluetooth now. And my phone is, uh, you know, a high-end Android tablet, and there is no cutout. Uh, as you can see, I took the plastic off, so it looks a lot better. I saw in the video it looked bleh, kind of bad with the plastic over the over this stuff so now it's nice and shiny the way it should you can see the display a little better um <laughs> another thing i found out is the graphic equalizer is all effed up like either they got it upside down or they got it turned around or something but the these you know, normally this will be base mid base mid and then tr mid treble and treble it's not that way it seems like this is base and this is treble and it's all screwed up but i mean if once you tune it in you're fine but yeah just be aware that uh the eq is not set up like it's supposed to be like i say these things have quirks but after listening to this for a while on my phone absolutely uh would say that this is the better of the two by far so if you're gonna get one of these don't expect perfection it's not a Panasonic or a JVC from back in the day. These are obviously throwaway. They look pretty, but sound like ass type radios. And this one sounds really good. I'm not going to lie to you. It sounds really good, but it does have that noise. When you're playing Bluetooth, you're going to hear a little. It could be interference just in this spot. Maybe if you're outside, you won't hear it. I don't know. It's not shielded very well. But I just wanted to add this in without having to type it in on the bottom of the description. Uh, if you're going to get either one, get this one. It's, it's a little more expensive than the older versions, but it sounds a lot better. And uh, it can crank. It can, really can crank without any distortion or anything like that. So it will mess up your ears. Be careful. Anyway, thanks again for watching my video. Have a good day, folks.